What's up, Max? This is Daniel from Josh and Danny SEO. So let's take a quick look at your website, see what's going on, and see if we can help. So right off the bat, like the name, um, I would probably have something like home, uh, especially if you go to other pages. I know I can click this and it'll bring me home. But you got reviews about us, contact us, and then you do have our services with a drop down. Now, I know that there's a little bit more that goes into exterior, interior painting, as well as cabinet uh, finishing or finishes. So, I mean, there's more you can add there, but one thing you definitely want, I, I understand you got that there, but you want your phone number up here. Always. First thing you want people to do come to your website is, you know, if nothing else, they might be in a, you know, someone like me, right? I, I don't waste any time. If, I, if I'm going to go with somebody, I'm going to go with somebody. I'm just going to call them. You need your number up here. Great picture. Um, good logo. Worksmanship that matters. Excellent. Uh, tell us what you think. Nothing wrong with that. Free estimates. Great. Is the best. That's probably somebody. And then you have a gallery. And there's nothing wrong with a gallery. Galleries are great. But that's it. You don't have anything else on your homepage. Uh, which is kind of... It's like, don't judge a book by its cover. But yes, you can. Because, you know, this is that book. Powered by Squarespace. I hate how they take, like... That's weird. Anyway. Um, content is key. You definitely going to want content on your website. Um, it's how Google kind of, you know, distinguishes between, you know, great websites and okay websites. So you're missing a lot of content. So let's take a look at the back end and see how Google kind of takes a look at you. So I'm using two cool Ahrefs and right now, um, a UR rating is how strong your website is and a DR rating is how much Google trusts you. Now these aren't very high, but you also only have 39 backlinks. Now, a backlink is where you're, you have your website link somewhere else where somebody can click on it, and a referring domain is when it returns to you. Now, you only have seven referring domains. Now, you do have six organic keywords. Now, a keyword, we're just going to pull them up, is what people would put into Google. So, you have painting Livermore. I'm assuming Livermore is in California, and that's actually who I'm going to be comparing you to in the area. But 50 people a month search for that. You're not getting any traffic because you're on page three. You got painters a little bit more. So you see how it's just different variations of the same thing. 30 people a month search for it. You're not getting any traffic. Again, you're on page number three. Uh, I don't know what that is. But interior, I mean, I do know what it is. It's just, you know, it's not something I would probably want to rank for. You want to rank for stuff that have a location and are service specific. Because that lets me know that somebody in your area is looking for that specific service. So let's take a, let's take a look at, you know, if I were to type in something called painters live more California. Oops, I did not mean to click on that. So this will give us, um, by the way, this is how... Uh, with these two classifications of service and location, that's how we create Google Ads. So we got CertiPro as a Google Ad, which is fine. We have CertiPro again as a Google Ad. I did not mean to click on them. I hope it didn't work. But then we have all of these guys. It did work. So this is your GMB, Google My Business Profile. Very important to get in here because about 30 to 40% of all people will click on one of these three guys. And then finally, after that, we have our organic search. This is where anyone can rank as long as you know what you're doing. And the first, we have Yelp. And number two, we have Rick Jensen. Now, let's take a look and see what they got. So, yes, there's a lot going on over here. They might do car painting, I guess. I have no idea, but they have their home services. It's not a drop-down menu, so they lose 10 points. They have their number here, but it's not a click to call, and it's not up here. So they lose a lot of points for that. But notice how they have content. Right, all of these are links to different things that they do offer and do, which is excellent. You always want to have, you know, those links to your website. But they have a lot of content. They have a lot of pictures. By the way, I'm just going to see, you know, how they're doing with that. Pictures this is how you can tell how well it was done, and it wasn't done really well because you wouldn't have saved it as that. Now this is kind of the area they're in, which is cool. Huh, nice. And then they have, you know, name, number, and address, you know, send us a message, and then they're done. So they don't have a lot of content either, but they definitely have more than you. If I had to guess, they have maybe like 800 words on here. Not even. Like maybe maybe 500 words. But one of the big things is they talk about what it is they're offering. So let's take a look at the back end of them. So actually, you're almost identical. I think you have nine, if I had to guess. No, you have six. So they're doing a little bit better than you on in that range. So... With this, they have a UR rating of 7.2. They have 104 backlinks with 12 referring, so they're not very strong. Also could mean that there's not a lot of uh, competition in the area. Now, they do have 50 organic keywords. The problem I have with that is for every keyword I believe you have, you should have at least two to three times more people coming in for each keyword. So here we got painting Livermore, painters, painters Livermore, interior painting Livermore. So they're doing all the right things. I didn't mean to click on that. As far as, you know... Uh, people uh, searching for location and service specific ideas. 
they're getting a couple of traffic through it. You know, like they're above 10% typically, but I would probably try and find, you know, either a lot more people in the area searching for that stuff. Maybe Pleasanton is another area. As you can see, they're not getting any traffic once they hit like page number two or three. And I don't know why they're even, I mean, Fremont is good. I guess that's a, another area, but not a lot of competition. Very easy to rank higher. So, I mean, they have the right idea. They, there's just more they could be doing. So how does this really help you guys? I know I've been a little vague on this one, but the comparisons are not really comparisons. It's just who's putting in more work at this moment. So for you, all you got to do, honestly, is we got to get more content on your homepage, right? Content's key. That's a, you know, a great way to start ranking for stuff. So for, number one is content. Number two is going to be keywords, right? We got to make sure within that content, we got keywords that actually talk about the services you're offering with the location specified as well. And then thirdly, we need to start adding backlinks. Well, more than what you have currently. So I don't know. I, I, there's a whole bunch of searches we can do. Find out really good ones and start adding them to your website so you start ranking higher for that stuff. Anyway, that's all I got. I really hope it wasn't too uh, brief. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to reach out and let me know. Other than that, man, you have an amazing day, Max. Bye.